coverage of the 2023 FISU World University Games continuing today with the ultimate feat of endurance. NBC 5's Noah Searson is live in Lake Placid with more on today's races at Mount Van Hovenberg. Yeah, guys, I checked out what is a very challenging track that really gave a tough time to all of the skiers from around the globe. But for the locals around here, they felt right at home. To say Adam Witkowski was born to ski would be an understatement. Well, luckily, growing up in uh, Stratton, Vermont, there's so many Olympians and people that went to the World Championships or just on the U.S. ski team in general. Vermont roots running deep in the 10-kilometer cross-country race at Mount Van Hovenberg on Tuesday, including multiple catamounts. Like they announced the hometown, where you're from, um, and the university, and it's cool just putting the kind of representing the university and the, the country. I think I think that says a lot about. How many, how many people over here have Vermont and New England ties is just, just because of the de density of, uh, of skiing programs in the state. The University of Vermont's Gregory Bird and Finn Sweet growing up in Huntington and Waterbury respectively, strengthening their knowledge of what their opponents might not know. Now when cross country athletes from around the world came to Main Street right here in Lake Placid, they may have not noticed the surrounding elevation that not only affects Whiteface right behind me, but also the cross country track at Mount Van Hovenberg. This uh, is definitely one of the hardest courses I've raced. You go out the start here, do these two climbs in the stadium, and then you climb for a 2K to the top. Then you have a 2K downhill where every turn you're basically going as fast as you can. The end result, pure exhaustion. Yeah, you really, like, you really have to pace it and you have to make sure that you don't die because it's very possible out there. Nobody hit the wall as hard as Will Cook did, but the Peru, Vermont native and Stratton Mountain alum didn't let that spoil how truly special the moment is for him. Competing on a world stage and having it be like, you know, right here at home, that's something that normally only Europeans get to experience. And um, I think probably for almost everybody here from America, this is our first time getting to experience it. Now you may recognize that name, Will's dad, Bill, won the first ever medal for the U.S. in cross country back in the 1976 Olympics, also participated right here in Lake Placid in 1980. So a full circle moment and watching all this skiing, it got me thinking, who at the station would be the best skier? Uh, maybe you guys can answer that for me. I'm going to put my money on, uh, on Stu. Now, NBC5 first warning weather.